Yeah. All right, there we go. You know the uh, the show is going to be lively, and so we might as well get started that way. Um, thank you so much for being uh, supportive of the arts at Vista Grove and uh, your support with our our whole program here. Um, Want to start the show off with a thank you to Ms. McGall Hello. and the crew, um, our staff, for supporting. Um, what we do, and this great cast of wonderful young actors. So again, thank you, and enjoy the show.
stand up and meet him with new neurotic friends like New York. We'll call it Swipe Him. Oh, never mind. That's all but other than you just show by nothing. <laughs> show where we get animals and we put them on an island and we make them battle it out for food and shelter. We'll call it, hey people, we do this every day. Ah, uh, never mind. People will think we're just making it up. This is harder than I thought. Because when you watch TV, it just looks like people are putting anything off. You better come up with something quick or the three of us are getting into this face if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I miss? The classic fairy tales my mother told me and my 11 brothers and she tucked us in the bed. 11? Yes, 11. 12 including me. Cheaper by the dozen. No, we had to move into a double wide habit trail with cedar shaped floors and a wagon wheel out front. Oh, now you know I was raised as poor mouse trash. But hey, now you're a television writer. Exactly, and that's why you should stay in school, kids. You know what? That's not a bad idea. That's a great idea. Each week we'll talk a different tale. With a different cast. That way, no series regulars are. Tucked and shut downs. Or some out actors outrageous style of demands. You go first. Tell us your favorite fairy tale. My favorite fairy tale is Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, I love that one. Me too. Great. Now, well, let's see if I can remember it properly. Once upon a time, there was an old woman who lived deep, deep, deep in the woods. On top. Way out there. Who made her granddaughter skip through the forest to visit her? I said, deep, deep, deep in the woods. Don't think I don't know what you're up to. I'm not stupid, Mr. Starving. 
You're not going to get out and party with my grandmother. What? I'm not going to go out and party with your grandmother. I know the woman. She can drive it tonight. And it's just a good old-fashioned lunch. Me? Old-fashioned? Why, I'm not going to take you to my grandmother's house so you can eat her. Um, actually, I was thinking about catching a bite a little closer. Like you! How about a sandwich instead? What do you got? Ham? No. Turkey? No. Corned beef? No. Roast beef? No. No beef? No. Wait a minute, what's no beef? You should always have a vegetarian option. Do I look like a vegetarian to you? If you take one more step, I'll scare everything in these woods by screaming at the top of my lungs. At the top of my lungs! <laughs> then the wolf chased Little Red Riding Hood all the way to her grandmother's house where he was captured and put in the no-kill shelter and currently waits adoption from a loving family and remembers kids whenever you have the party, whenever you have the energy to party with grandma. <laughs> Well, we can't move back home now. Mother said she always turned over with her sewing room. 
a sewing room? Mother doesn't even sew. That's what I told her. She said sew. I can't believe this. We're homeless. I miss Mother. I wonder what she's doing right now.
gotta paint paradise and put up a new shopping mall. <laughs>
send a waiter over here to send these two other steaks back? Can I help you? Yeah, tell Chef Snoryardy to wake up in the kitchen and get these babies moving. I can go for an iced tea and when I'm done, roll over the dessert cart. Goldie's hungry. Anything else now? Yeah. Don't give me attitude! Or you can kiss your kids goodbye. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 